Welcome back to Tactical Magfed. If you're into all things paintball, tactical and Magfed related, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Hit the bell notification for new videos. It's really going to help me out. Okay, so if I'm going to be talking to you guys about reloads, tactical kit and all that kind of good stuff, we're going to need some different gear. You know what time it is? That's more like it, a little bit more tactical now. So in this video I'm going to run through um, my mag drills for my tier 15 I alluded to in another video. Um, it will be up here again somewhere if you missed it earlier. Okay, so um, previous loadout video I kind of went through or a mag, I think it might be mag related, uh, mag pouches. Um, I went through why I have these two fast mag pouches on the front here. Um, I alluded to the fact that I don't generally keep mags in them um, when I start the game. They are related to my mag change drills or my fast mag changes. Okay, so I'm just going to run through firstly kind of um, the process of the mag change and show you guys how I use that. Um, I'll try and get some quick mag changes on camera if I can. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just basically some basic practice drills um, to get uh, mag changes out real quick. I'll also show you, um, you can't see it because it's out of camera shot, but there is a, a mat on the floor so I can drop a couple of mags. I have a solid, uh, solid floor in here, so if they hit the floor, I don't really know if they'll break the mags without a, a mat there, so that's a word of caution. Um, for out on the field, um, if you've got concrete spaces that you're going to drop in mags, just be aware that they are plastic. You may break them. Okay, so first off, so we're going to get the. I'll run through where everything is at the moment. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight pouches um, on here. Total of four, one in the gun, three on the chest and um, four T15 mags on my belt. I also have a T15, uh, an FSC um, mag on here, and I have my FSC on my other hip um, with an empty patch, but we'll go through that in a bit. Okay, so the scenario is you're in, you're in game, you're out of pain, you need to get rid of your mag, um, stow it as quickly as possible or dump it uh, and get another mag out. So what I'll do if I come around this side, um, it can be a bit cumbersome, so you, you, you've got to lift up and out at the top of your chest rig to come up to the chest rig, okay? So um, the easiest way to bring the mags up to your mark is from a belt kit. So I've got two fast mags here and then I've got a double resupply um, pouch here. If you want to know more about pouches and stuff I've got, just hit this bit up here is a, I did a whole video on it, just check it out after you've watched this one. So essentially, what I do, uh, mags run dry. This is a V1 mag, so it won't drop. Mag runs dry, so I take that out, stow it in under these fast mags. Whichever one is the quickest to get in, there you go. Not particularly fast, in there, and then put that one in there. So it's when you practice this, um, you also need to practice it with your mask on because you won't have the field of vision that I've got now. But it's tricky, it's a bit cack-handed to me at the minute because I normally do it with the mask on. But who would be crap if I had the mask on? So there you go, so I'll just reset that scenario, put that one back in there, that one back on the marker. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll run through um, a very slow speed. I'll take this mag out, stow it, I'll put the V2 mag, these, these two here, V2s, put the V2 mag in, into the marker, I'll drop the V2, put the, another V2 in, and drop that, okay? Just to give you an idea, and then I'll reach back and take one of these out, or I'll take one of these out, whichever, whichever feels the more comfortable, but probably, because these are resupply mags, I might take one out here and just show you the difference, okay? So, to do that, I'm going to come around here because my mat is down here to save my mat. Okay, so, here we go. All right, when I um, go to do the mat change, I may break off and just bring it down 
here to bring it closer to me to make it more manageable. Um, I may, like, you might, sometimes you can keep it, the gun up and do the change underneath here. Sometimes it's easier to break off, bring it closer and get it out. All depends what you're doing. Um, see how it turns out, shall we? Okay, so here we go. Mag's empty. Done. That's the first one. So I know I lied to you, I was going to drop the mag, but uh, these, these two mags are still relatively new to me and I'm not used to clicking the button and dropping them, so it didn't come natural to me. So what I'll do is uh, I'll reset as we have and I'll do it again. So, okay, mag's empty. Mag's empty. Another one. Mag's empty. Mag's empty. Start in the second. And we're on again. Now I don't know. <laughs> don't know if that looked any good or how quick that looked, but um, definitely dropping the mags was fast. It still made a noise even when they hit the yoga mat. So, um, hope I haven't killed my mags. So, I'll just go ahead and reset my mags again. They went. Okay, so that was a quick run through. That was probably, I don't know, 70% of speed, maybe 80% of the speed I could probably get with this. So um, what I'm going to do is just do a couple of scenarios where um, I do a mag change. Instead of dropping anything, because um, that kind of threw me up a little bit, I'm going to stow them in these fast mags, okay, and just work from the belt kit. Alright, so we'll go ahead with that. So, mag's dry. Mag's dry. Caught it. That's going to the top. Okay. So you got a bit of a flavour there for the mag change there. Um, I sped it up a little bit. Um, probably still not 100% of what I could do, but this is the whole purpose of doing the drills the way we do them, so you can get comfortable with it. Um, so the T, the V2 mags that I've got and um, dropped away there. Let's just pick that one up. Um, these are new to me. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when I ejected um, the mag, caught me a bit un unaware. So. Um, <laughs> They do fall out pretty rapidly. So if you're used to the old ones where you've got, a, they don't drop, there's, a, there's no kind of delay there. I kind of hit the mag release and then brought my hand up to grab it. I've got to change my drill a little bit to have my hand on the mag or underneath the mag or near it when I hit eject or just let them drop. So these did drop on the floor and bounce a little bit. They're a bit scuffed up, seem to be okay. Um, considering they landed on a yoga mat, it's probably a good idea not to drop them on anything harder than grass. Okay, so reset my bags there. So one thing that I um, do need to practice uh, at the moment is retrieving these out. So having the sling on here does impede accessing these mags. So I might have to address which way around they go. I usually have them ready to go in like that, but you kind of have to go around the mag, uh, the, the sling. So it might be better having them the opposite way around and going in that way if you're coming out and going in that way. So I'm gonna have to re-drill some of that, but um, I think I demonstrated the fast mag, um, mag change there with the V2s, that was pretty cool. So I'm glad I got to show you that. And um, I'll have another video with some pistol uh, mag changes as well. Uh, I'll get into that. 
uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Um, hope it all comes out and is framed correctly. Uh, it gives you a taste of how I drill for my mag change um, on my T15 marker. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.